it's always a, a, a moment of immense pleasure and, and honor to welcome you all. So um, on behalf of MEMO, we, we thank you and we hope that you find today's uh, discussions uh, fruitful. Now, we met here about six months ago in this very hall to discuss the 25th anniversary of the Oslo Accords. And uh, nothing could have prepared us for what followed. Less than three days after we concluded that event, one of our speakers, Jamal Khashoggi, was murdered in Istanbul. And so I must take this opportunity to honor his memory and to pay tribute to his outstanding work uh, over the years. Despite his vast interest and concerns, Jamal had a special interest in Palestinian affairs. And it was not a coincidence that he, his last public event or appearance was at an event on Palestine. He was one of the first journalists in the region to visit uh, Marja Zuhur in 1992, when 415 Palestinians were forcibly expelled from their homes to the snow-filled mountains in Lebanon. Jamal was there reporting on their, their, their plight and their suffering and their misery. So today we want to revisit some of the themes uh, that he you know, uh, discussed over the years. Uh, fundamental uh, rights, human rights, freedoms, rule of law. And there's no doubt that the rights which were promised in, 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 in the Balfour Declaration to the Palestinian people remain unfulfilled today. And the rights which were promised in the, univer in the unilateral declaration of Israel's independence in 1948 have been negated. That declaration says we will uphold and fulfill the rights of all our citizens without distinction to race, religion, and sex. This is what their declaration says or said in 1948. And as we discuss, you see the issue of uh, Palestinian citizens of Israel today and the nation state law we would see the, the vast gap between what was promised uh, in 1948 and what you know, uh, uh, exists today and what uh, uh, awaits the Palestinian community in the years ahead. So we have uh, deliberately chosen this occasion, this timing in the post-election period to discuss these issues and to bring here uh, renowned academics from the United States, from Belgium, from Israel itself, and across the United Kingdom, you know, to share their thoughts and their expertise with us. This event, therefore, uh, uh, may uncover some uncomfortable truths, some worrying trends uh, that exist. As children are continually being taught that the Palestinians in Israel are a demographic threat. In their textbooks, this is being taught. So what future does it hold for that community when they are seen as a threat or the enemy within? We would look at this. But there are other trends which are disturbing and worrying. That only 18 of the 120 parliamentarians who were elected to the Knesset, only 18 believe in what is called the two-state solution. 
only 18, or support it rather. And from the elections itself, we see that there has been a, a, a significant drop in participation from 63.5% in 2015 to 49% in 2019. As if to say, well, there's no need to participate. What are we participating in? This process will not deliver anything for us. And perhaps, and I'll conclude with this observation, that the most uh, a worrying factor in all of this, in, in this scenario, is that the, the, the dream, the plan of an exclusive state is, is almost complete. A demographic majority. A state that is open to Jews all over. And a state that affords unique rights to the Jewish people only. These are the three pillars of what is envisaged to be the exclusive Jewish state. And so the future of the uh, Palestinian citizens of this state remain threatened and in doubt. I conclude, and I trust that our distinguished speakers, our guest, Professor Massad, you would hear from him, and uh, uh, Dr. Jabalreen, and, and all the others from Europe, our friend um, David, uh, uh, and Jonathan Cook, he he's also uh, will speak. You will hear, you see, uh, 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 first-hand accounts, very analytical and coherent uh, analyses of, 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 of what exists today. So I thank you and, and wish you a fruitful day. Thank you very much.